I grew up right across the river in Underwood, Iowa. Um, farm over there, farm 20, almost 25 years now, and uh, we use glyphosate almost every year on my farm, uh, as well as most of the U.S., I think, whether you're a row crop farmer, uh, or even, I would also say, I think a lot of rural, or excuse me, a lot of urban um, folks that uh, uh, have also used glyphosate in one form or another, or, uh, or another on their uh, properties, uh, controlling weeds. Uh, you know, simply put, glyphosate is uh, one of the most effective tools that we absolutely have ever had. Uh, in controlling weed, weed pressure, and as Attorney General Bird had mentioned earlier, uh, allowing us the opportunity, you know, to reduce other uh, other chemicals that may be a lot harsher or other things in our environment that we can do um, to make us more efficient and not just more efficient, but also uh, be able to use other tools like a no-till uh, production system, which we use on our farm, and many many others across the state of Nebraska and the state of Iowa um, use as well when it comes to uh, row crop farming. Um, Again, the state of California or other states that, uh, that try to push regulations in a different manner um, on their own farms, it, it's just really, um, it's one of those things that makes no sense. Um, and if you look at things from a, from a common sense standpoint of how you move forward uh, across the U.S., regulations need to be done at that national level. Um, I know farmers that, that farm across state lines. Um, if you, you know, right here on the river, uh, you go, you know, not too far north of town or south of town, there's several farmers that farm both in Nebraska and Iowa. And those are types of, of people that if you end up, you know, having different regulations on one side or the other, uh, different chemical programs, different, uh, different things that uh, cause farmers to, to have a lot of different plans throughout their cropping season, it just becomes that much more and more difficult. Similarly, when California, uh, you know, tries their, to push another regulation on a different state, um, it just makes no sense. Uh, these are things that, uh, again, from a common sense standpoint, I think uh, I appreciate the fact that our attorney generals in these two states have decided to push back on these regulations. I think all of agriculture would, uh, would echo that when they say it's high time that, that we're on the offensive side uh, of the laws and the way this is being uh, pushed down you know, from the top or from some states that, that uh, they might be a bigger gorilla, but uh, you know, we're still in there fighting and we're fighting for the way of life that we have and the way we produce crops in these states. Um, I also sit on the board for an ethanol and, and a biodiesel plant as well, so representing interest in, in those worlds. And right now, some of the things that even California wants uh, within those uh, arenas are carbon, you know, reduced carbon, carbon index scoring, um, all these things that uh, uh, are being discussed in the world of agriculture now, and how do we, you know, how, we, how do we reduce our own carbon footprints? Well, it comes down to chemicals, uh, no-till farming, different practices, and again, if we take away tools in our own toolbox as growers, um, it becomes that much more difficult for us to, to reduce that carbon footprint, which the consumer seems to want right now as well. So, um, things that, you know, as we look to the future and our plants and what we want to do from a production standpoint or from uh, you know, from a reduction in our own carbon on the scoring of our fuels, you know, we need the farmers to be able to do these things on their own ground as well. Um, so those are just a, a few of the pieces from a practical standpoint, I think, from, from a grower perspective, you know, that really, uh, I hope, set the stage for, for the understanding as to why this is a, a needed chemical. It's been one of the most tested chemicals ever on the marketplace, uh, and, and it's known to be safe and very effective. So. Uh, again, EPA, you know, set the regulations, uh, do your job in D.C., and let us farmers do our job on the ground here in the U.S. Thank you.